Hey, so types of neurotransmitters is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about some deep science, if you really like that. <clears throat> so there's types of neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are found in varying concentrations. And we all hear about dopamine. Dopamine is like, woohoo, exciting one. Yeah, you want dopamine. And they also have glutamate. You have GABA, axelion, serotonin, serotonin. You know what serotonin is, and melatonin. Mel makes you mellow. Sarah wakes you up in the morning. Dopamine makes you excited. And nitric oxide and various endorphins. So when we talk about neurotransmitters, there's many different types. And so they can perform all kinds of different functions. We can have two basic different types that fall in two categories. And this is how we think. And we're talking about changing our thinking so we can change a particular behavior in our life or change your whole life, whatever you want to do. You have exciting, exciting Atory neurotransmitters, and then you have inhibitors, inhibitor transmitters. And so obviously the inhibit inhibits the change where the excitatory excite the change. And it's so fascinating listening about the science behind the brain. And it's just really, to me, so fascinating that you can change your thoughts back here if you so desire and that's what this whole brain youtube thing with me is all about i want to break it down to some simple things but there's got to be a little bit more science than just oh yeah we sit you close your eyes it's like it's fascinating the way we have so many billions of little nerve cells in there. And then when we just sit and we do close our eyes and we visualize that change, we believe that change is there in us now. And then those neurotransmitters go to the excited ones and then they just start to change. And it's just like going to the gym. You got to do it over and over and over and you got to believe and be you know in the moment and be so happy to want that change to feel that change like that change has already happened and so you want the excitatory neurotransmitters in your meditation to visualize your change have a great day i'm janice jensen